What's going on you guys? Riley here. Today we've got a very special video. Today we are reviewing this 2021 Ram TRX, the 702 monster that FCA has created to take down the Raptor. And boy oh boy, I am super excited for this one. So first we will go over the TRX on the outside, then we will check out the interior, and then we will take it on a little drive and see what the 700 horsepower pickup truck feels like to drive out on the open road. However, before we continue, I just wanted to give a huge, huge shout out to Bayshore Ram Chrysler Jeep and Dodge in Baytown, Texas for inviting me down here today to review this TRX for you guys. If you're in the market for a TRX, they've got this one and several others that are on the way, as well as many other SRT products. So be sure to hit them up and tell them the RP sent you. So now let's talk about the TRX. So what exactly is this thing? Well, it is a very fancy Ram pickup truck that again has 700 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque. It'll do zero to 60s in like 3.8 seconds and the quarter mile in like 12.3, which is on par with some very fast sports cars. And yet here we are in a pickup truck. Not only that, but it also has much wider fender flares as you might be able to see kind of going down the side. The actual truck is eight inches wider than a standard Ram pickup truck. So just incredible. And not only that, but they have it as standard coming on 35 inch tires so these tires are just pretty much ready for whatever you can throw at them this is a truck that you can you know well, I guess you could take it to the drag strip you can take it off roading in the mud you can take it to the beach the sand dunes you can do whatever you want with this thing and it's just the perfect truck for just about everything I love the fact that there were some engineers at FCA that said hey I have an idea how about we put that glorious 6.2 liter supercharged Hellcat engine inside of a truck and they did it and here we are welcome to 2021 now aside from just making the truck wider to go off-road you also have a completely revamped suspension system from Bilstein that has adaptive dampers and suspension and all kinds of goodies that is underneath the truck and things that you can't see that the engineers have spent countless hours you know fine-tuning and perfecting and not only that but the frame is also reinforced so you may or may not have seen some other fellow youtubers uh, jump this truck and well it can do that too probably wouldn't recommend it but it can be done so moving around to the back they've got it nice and simple uh, with just a 4x4 logo and then a small TRX logo over here on the side and of course in case you forgot what truck you're driving they put a huge Ram right there in the center but overall I think this is a very good looking truck I mean even without the TRX the, the new Ram truck in general is a very good looking truck uh, very beautiful interiors and as far as practicality and storage is concerned it's just you know unlimited so this one obviously has a bed cover, but very spacious bed size uh, back here in the bed. I also love these massive exhaust tips down here at the bottom. They look like giant potato launchers, but just seeing this truck go down the road, whether it's from the front or from the back, it's just like, man, what is that thing? That's like a monster truck for the road. And that's basically what it is. This is every little kid's perfect dream. It's, it's the truck that does everything, has a ton of horsepower, looks really cool. And not only that, but it's also really nice on the inside. So let's go check Check that out. So switching over to the GoPro view now, here is a shot of the key fob, pretty standard RAM key fob, lock, unlock, drop the tailgate and your remote start, and then of course a panic button. Speaking of remote start, let's go ahead and hear this exhaust. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty funny when your pickup truck sounds that good. Okay, so moving on to the interior. It's definitely interesting. Not only just is it beautiful, but it's just weird having so much Alcantara, carbon fiber, aluminum trim, and everything that's you know usually found in exotic sports cars or luxury cars. Yet, here we are once again in a pickup truck. So starting off with the door here, you can see there's carbon fiber, Alcantara, leather, and then a beautiful uh, aluminum trimmed Harden, Harman Kardon audio system. I think it's like 19 speakers or something ridiculous. There's speakers everywhere in this thing. And if we move on into the interior, much, much quieter in here, excuse all that noise. Um, but we'll go ahead and press the red push button start. And here we are with the T-Rex interior. So first thing you may notice, the steering wheel is leather wrapped, Alcantara, 
Carbon fiber, kind of continuing with the theme. There's a lot of that going on in here. Carbon fiber is continued all on the dash up here, on the sides. This whole section there is carbon fiber. I mean, it's just a very nice place to be. And uh, these seats have the nice TRX badging or embroidery kind of in the back of them. Very comfortable seats. Again, leather and carbon, or not carbon fiber, that would be uncomfortable. Leather and Alcantara. And then moving on to kind of the focal point of the interior, this massive 12 inch screen that you can configure pretty much a thousand different ways. Um, here is all of the performance settings in your truck. So if you want to do tow something, if you want to go in the snow, sport mode, auto, you can customize everything. There's rock, sand, Baja. I mean, the truck will literally do anything that you could ask it to. You also have this button here, which has different modes. And if you click the modes, it gives you a little animation of what the truck is uh, is doing. So rock crawling, Baja, sport, has the, the truck on a racetrack. And <laughs> it's just crazy to be alive in a time where we have all of this um, in a pickup truck that, again, it's expensive. Yes, I haven't talked about that yet. We will. Um, and it doesn't get the best fuel economy. We'll talk about that too, but let's keep it on the positive things for right now. Now, typically in the new Ram pickup trucks, they have a little rotary dial here. That's how you put it into park, reverse, neutral drive, etc. However, that is now here, which has pretty much the same shifter from like a, a Grand Cherokee or um, any of the newer products like that. So I actually prefer this, um, but it is pretty cool to see a launch control button in your truck. Um, then of course, all the different four high, four low, axle locks, things like that. Now, in terms of features inside this truck, it has just about everything that is available to get on pretty much any car nowadays. So adaptive cruise control, uh, blind spot monitoring, heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, backup camera. There's actually cameras everywhere, as you can see there. There is all kinds of things that you can play with in here. You got the forward camera, which is nice if you're going off road, you can see what's going on in front of you. It does have the rear view mirror camera. So that's the camera that a regular rear view mirror. So so very cool, you can pick between those two different views. The full panoramic sunroof, which is super awesome in these Rams. You can see two more speakers back there above the rear seat and then a massive back seat. So we will talk about that here shortly. Parking sensors, front and rear, different auxiliary switches that are already kind of there for you to, to wire in whatever you want, whether it's a light bar or, or you know whatever, the possibilities are endless. Also kind of an interesting feature if you're gonna be doing some towing, you have a trailer steering little knob there so basically the concept is if you turn that right and you're backing up, then it will move your trailer to the right. So very strange. I don't know how many people are really going to use that versus just doing it themselves like people have been doing for many, many years, but hey, it's there if you need it. And then down below, you've got a wireless phone charger there. Uh, I love the little cubby holes and compartments that Ram has done. Um, and there's stuff literally everywhere. A nice little metal badge that has your VIN number and some information about the truck. And then down here below, you may be able to see, but now, unfortunately, the camera doesn't pick it up down there, but there is a, a little diagram of a T-Rex chasing a Velociraptor, which you can kind of get the hint there that um, Ford is, well, they're being hunted by the T-Rex. Something else that is interesting to find in your truck, uh, how about metal paddle shifters? Very <laughs> interesting. And you may be able to see, it's kind of an interesting design there. You have the top portion and then the bottom portion, but in between is actually for your, your radio controls. So one side's volume, one side's your radio presets. Kind of interesting, again, to find paddle shifters in your pickup truck, but uh, I guess uh, Ram really thought of everything when it comes to this truck. Now, before we take a look at the window sticker, let's go ahead and show off the back seat real quick. So a huge amount of space back here, pretty much anything you could imagine to fit back here, it'll pretty much fit. Uh, the seats do fold up, so you could have this whole entire area flat. And then if we bring these guys down, you can see as I kind of climb up in here, this whole middle section folds down. You have a nice armrest that's, again, Alcantara, some cup holders, uh, but I really like the way this whole design is rather than just a little kind of smaller cup holder area. This is a nice armrest. It just looks more luxury, more high quality. Um, so I really do like that. And then also something that's a little different and nice to have, of course, carbon fiber back here, uh, but that's not what I'm talking about here. We have AC, uh, cooled seats rather heated and cooled seats for the rear passengers a wall plug back here different USB ports I mean they really thought of everything and I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this but if you move this guy out of the way you can see there's another storage compartment here and what is that boom it's like a little I think they call it a ram box I could be wrong though but it's pretty much like a little ice chest or an extra storage compartment if uh, you wanted to hide things and keep your drinks cold. Now under the hood of this beast, as I mentioned, it is a 6.2 liter supercharged V8. You can kind of see the top of it 
peeking right back in there, but it's the same supercharged V8 from all of the Hellcat products. Uh, Dodge started off with the Challenger, then the Charger, now they're going into you know the Jeep, Grand Cherokee, the Durango, and here we are in a pickup truck. And I've always heard, you know, last few years, okay, they will eventually come out with some kind of Raptor, um, Raptor killer, so to speak. And everybody thought that they would use the same engine, but nobody thought that it would actually still give you that 700 horsepower. People were, you know, estimating 500, 550. They said, oh, the four wheel drive system, you just can't take that much power in a truck and yada, yada, yada. Nope, here we are, 702 horsepower. My goodness, what a time to be alive. Now for one of my favorite things about the Ram, the window sticker. This is where I get uh, very am amused, it's pretty funny. So we'll start off with one of the bigger numbers here. Uh, 12 miles per gallon average, 10 city, 14 highway. Uh, yeah, n not great, Bob. But what's even more funny about that is the uh, government gives you a little fuel economy greenhouse rating and smog rating. Yeah, it gets a one on both of those. And uh, you spend almost $13,000 more over five years in fuel cost compared to the average new vehicle. Annual fuel cost about four grand. <laughs> I mean, that's that's pretty funny. Now, the starting price on one of these beasts is just about $70,000. However, most of them will be probably in that 90 to 100 range. This one here is $90,600. Um, I'll try to get a shot of all the options that are on this truck, but it's very well optioned. Uh, pretty much if you're gonna buy a TRX, you probably want it something similar to this. Uh, but you can go pretty much as crazy as you want with these trucks. There's all kinds of options and aftermarket things that they have for them. You can get like a fancy little Ram bar. It's a metal bar. You can get spare tire racks in the bed. There's all kinds of things that you can do with this truck. Um, but just truly a, a remarkable truck. I can't believe that Ram actually did it and they did it right. So kudos to them. You guys have absolutely just set the, the bar for, for off-road pickup trucks. And now I think Chevy and Ford have, uh, have some work to do to try to come up with something that will take this truck down. But man, that's going to be a tough feat to do when you have active... Well, I don't really know if you call it active aero, but there is vents that go through the fenders that channel air in different places. The ram is actually cut out so you can get more airflow into the engine there. I mean, they thought of everything. It's just a very well put together package, well worth $90,000 if you're just looking for an amazing truck that looks good, but I can't say it drives good yet until we go drive it. So let's go ahead and do that now. Alrighty, y'all. Well, setting off in the 702 horsepower Ram TRX. Um, just what a time to be alive. That's all. That's the only thing I can really keep saying about this truck is that, you know, here we are, 2021. We got pickup trucks with 700 horsepower in them, but I'm not complaining. So something I just discovered about the TRX, it actually has a heads-up display, which is, I guess, brand new for for the Ram. So that is pretty cool. Just looking straight ahead here, I get to see my speed and everything right there in front of me. Um, but driving the TRX down a pretty narrow road here, I feel like I am just driving an apartment building on wheels that has a supercharger whine. I mean, it's everything about this truck is just absurd. But going into it, you know that, and that's why this truck appeals to just so many people. It's just, it's just cool. Not exactly the most practical thing to be daily driving with 10 miles per gallon, but I mean, it's just cool. There's something about it. Yeah, I've got a truck with 700 horsepower. That's just cool. And not only that, but it also has a factory warranty and it can do just about everything. Again, you can do you know off-road, snow, mud, towing, drag strip. I mean, it's, it's just set up for everything. It is the perfect truck if your wife tells you, all right, honey, I get it. You let you're into cars, but you have to only pick one thing and just have that for the rest of your life. It's like, well, all right, I'll get a TRX then. How about that? It does everything. Okay, so it wouldn't be a TRX review without seeing what the power's like in a 700 truck. We're not gonna do anything crazy, but we'll just ease onto it a little bit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're not even all the way in it, but just hearing a supercharger wine come from a Ram truck, it's just it's just something funny, man. It, this is just cool. It is the perfect truck to do everything. And, and again, I, I, I love the Raptor. When I drove one of those, I said, man, this is probably one of the greatest trucks ever made. No, this I think is the greatest truck ever made. This is just freaking cool. And I'm all for saving the environment and everything, but this is just cool. From a practicality standpoint, I'm sure 10 miles per gallon or, or less, or who knows, I mean, I guess it depends on your driving style, but 10 miles per gallon city would probably get old. I mean, if you have the money to afford one of these trucks to begin with, you probably have the money to afford the gas, so so be it. All right, so we're turning on to a kind of a little side street here. I figured, why not? We'll go ahead and put it into manual mode and uh, just use the paddle shifters in a pickup truck because that's just cool. Well, 
Now I can say that I've used paddle shifters in a truck. That's probably the only truck that has them. Now I can say I've done it. <laughs> They're actually very responsive. So the transmission's a ZF eight speed that's in just about every FCA product nowadays. It's a good transmission, shifts quick, um, does really well with, with fuel economy and things like that. It's, it's pretty solid. But overall, for a massive truck that again, you feel like you're taking up the whole lane, it's surprisingly really comfortable. Even with the 35 inch tires, I mean, it's, it's not bad. You could take this thing on cross country road trips. It's no problem at all. Doesn't handle like a sports car, but it definitely feels like one in a straight line. I mean, just easing onto it, it, it feels the equivalent of like, let's say a SRT charger or, or something in terms of just speed, but to get that amount of performance out of a truck, I mean, that, that takes a lot of engineering to make something that is this capable and well, they've done it. So overall, I would say if you're in the market for the most badass pickup truck ever made, go check out a Ram TRX. I love the Ford Raptor, I love the Trail Boss Silverado, but I don't think either one of them really compete with this thing right now. I mean, it, it's going to be interesting in the battle of who can make the most badass truck, but right now, Ram, you guys are winning. So congratulations, this is truly awesome. I mean, it's just very cool in every way you look at it. Uh, well done. <laughs> the sound of this truck would never get old. Um, but anyways, guys, I think that pretty much concludes today's video on the Ram TRX. So again, huge shout out to Bayshore, Dodge Chrysler, Jeep and Ram in uh, Baytown, Texas. Go see my boy Patrick or my boy Kevin. Uh, both of them are, you know, some of my good friends. They'd be able to help you out with your, you know, Ram TRX purchase or Scat Pack, Hellcat, whatever you may need. Uh, go see them. Tell them RP sent you. They'll take care of you. Uh, but yeah. I think I'm, I'm in love with the TRX. I don't think I have a use for a TRX, and, but <laughs> I think it's awesome. And uh, yeah, every time I see one of these on the road now, I'm gonna be like, ha, you, you sir made a good choice. Congratulations. So thank you guys for watching the video. We will see you on the next one. Take it easy.